what we're doing here is uh, taking a dent out of an alloy wheel a bump was hit or a curb or something and it caused this dent it didn't blow the tire and it didn't leak any air but we want to take that out and you um, you can see my other video on how to break down the, the tire bead um, but this video is going to focus on how to heat this area and how to beat the rim out this is a very minor dent so uh, my hope is it comes out pretty easy you're you're supposed to heat the rim if you're going to change the shape of it to prevent cracking now it may still crack and um, I, i've seen professionals that uh, do crack their alloys doing this procedure and then they uh, have them TIG welded and well I guess if that happens to me I'll have to take it somewhere to get a TIG welded but uh, we're going to heat it up and and where it is an alloy uh, probably a pretty heavy aluminum content the the thermal conductivity is really high so if we heat this area it, it'll get hot quite a distance around there and quickly so we're gonna what we're gonna do heat it up and then we're gonna pound on it I've got some hardwood pieces that are in the shape of the rim and so we're gonna we're gonna see how that goes if we pound on those hardwood pieces uh, to try to protect the rim a little bit as we're straightening it. We'll see how that goes. If that doesn't work, I'm going to throw this away and just smack right on the rim. We've got a probably a 20, maybe a 30 ounce hammer here. And we've got a two pound, um, two pound maul here if we need to use that two pound sledge. So we'll see what happens. But uh, have a good look at that dent and then we'll get started. It's actually bent here and it may be hard in the video to see, but it's also bent on the inner part of the lip. Here we go. What I did is I got one of these um, uh, digital thermometers. 15 degrees, uh, 25 degrees. So what I'm going to do is heat it up until it's about 150 degrees Celsius, and then I'll uh, I'll start whaling on it. Okay. All right, so that's up to a couple hundred degrees Celsius there. So I'm going my glove. I'll take that glove right here places you can smell that rubber starting to heat up a little bit I'm not too worried about it though okay put you back up a little bit hmm. Better, right? Eh? Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna pound out like this for a bit. Really better, but still, still needs a little help to hook at the edge. Okay. Okay. So you can see here, we uh, we have it mostly round. It's not perfect, but it is way better than it was. It was actually warped in here and then the lip was warped and it, the lip was up as well so we beat it out here we beat out the lip and then we beat in the lip right here to to kind of do the best we could and it's it's pretty good I'm, i think it'll be all right and uh yeah well that's on the inside of the rim anyway if you were doing it on the outside maybe people would be upset about those marks but we don't care so what we did was we took a piece of wood and tried to pound on the wood and the wood broke so that idea didn't work and then we um, used some various hammers here and uh, this was kind of one of the popular ones and uh, to kind of more accurately direct the uh, smack we'd hold one hammer there and then smack it with the rig red one and we'd move this around so we could target our, our spots um, we had to reheat the tire the rim several times through the job just to keep the temperature up and then uh, this rounded piece here is really not as rounded as as you should have but it was a little bit round so we would we kind of had a handle here and would move this around and, and smack it so that's how uh that's how we straighten the rim and i'm just gonna take the truck oh and what was nice was the truck parked on the boards parked on the tire the whole thing stayed in place and we could pound on it and it didn't really even move around too much so all that was good and uh trying to think of what else well, I think that's it for the do-it-yourself video on how to straighten out a rim. Test. Okay, good luck with your do-it-yourself project.